Yo, what is going on guys? Prevised here. It's been forever since I made a video, like three weeks, man. Three weeks. So, oh wait, hold on. Yeah, three weeks since I made a video about my scripting tutorial. Oh my goodness, one month. That's really insane. So, a lot of you guys hopefully know I got a job. And uh, the relationship thing, uh, it's not. we're not really in a relationship. We're still friends, but yeah, just want to bring that up. So yeah, I got I got a, I never got fired yet, and hopefully never will. But yeah, I'm st I still got my job, so that's the main reason why I have not been making videos, and I feel really bad. And I'm a lot of people are probably not watching my videos anymore. Like probably don't even I don't know. Pro I'm losing subscribers. I'm pretty sure, which sucks. But okay, let's let's just make a scripting tutorial. So. What I'm going to be teaching you is how to make a, a character resizing. So, like, if you were to join a game, uh, everyone's going to be... Oh, okay. This is just some jetpack joyride type game that I was working on with a friend. Uh, let me turn my volume down right quick. Alright. So, whenever you were to join a game, your character is going to be, like, really small. So, like, uh, you know, you'd be, like, this uh, little bitty have this little character or you can scale scale your character like really big like huge so how this work works is um, now this works only with R15 so what you're gonna want to do is go to develop my creations or group creation whatever it's whatever you you wanna go under um, and then go to places and go to your game and then go to configure place <laughs> Um, actually, I think it's, yeah, it's not configure place. It's being very slow. Go back. It's actually under games. Okay, then you go under your game. Configure game. Okay. Avatar type options. Morph to R15. This is what you want to use. So that way, whenever you join... Uh, the game every character is gonna be r15 based and then make sure you hit save this th this doesn't matter I would recommend doing standard um but it's really you it's your choice really okay so now that we got that out the way so we're gonna go just go in workspace and let's see how this is set up under fire dusk let's go under humanoid now as you can see in humanoid there's four number values. Um, and now let's mess with this. So body depth scale. So if we change this to two, as you can see, we look really fat. Ten. As you can see, we look uh, look very messed up. It's very laggy. Do one. Yeah, this kind of. Yeah. Um, body height scale. Let's do two. As you can see, we're really tall. So I'm going to teach you how to mess with that. So what I'm going to do is, okay, so let's, okay, I, I hit play. Let's just hit stop right quick. All right. So it's been forever since I scripted, but I'm pretty sure I still know how to do this. Okay, we're going to go on server script service, and let's right-click in server script service, insert object, script. All right, so let's name this scale. Uh, let's do body scale. Yeah, body scale. Been forever since I typed on a keyboard. Well, no, not really, but uh, actually scripted. Let's just say scripted, like typed up code. Yeah. All right. So, um, so we need to check whenever the players added. So we're gonna do game dot players dot. Oh my god, player. Players added connect function and then inside this these parentheses we're gonna do player because it's the player that's being added to the game. Then player dot character added. Oh yeah. I am messing up whenever I'm typing. And then the character's being added, so character as added is the event for a player 
So this is going to all the code in here is going to fire whenever the character is being added to the game. I think I'm doing this right. <laughs> We're going to see. I believe so, which has been forever so scripted. So whenever the character's added, then we're going to want to loop through the character. Um, actually, no, we're gonna we're not gonna loop through the character. We're gonna loop through the humanoid. So let's make a variable local humanoid equals character. Then we're going to use a wait for child humanoid. So that way we can wait for the humanoid to be added inside the character. Then we're going to loop through the character. So for I child in pairs. Um, inside the parentheses, we're going to do humanoid. I'm surprised I still know how to script. My goodness. Get children. It's been like a month since I scripted. Uh, get children. Do. So, child, in this case, child is every. Child is every child inside of the humanoid because we're going inside the humanoid humanoid and we're getting all the children so now we're gonna check if child is a number value is a number value then so we're gonna check if the child let me show you what child is in this case so let's go in our character so in this case child is all of this that's what child is and we're gonna check if the child which all of these are the child like what we had typed in um, is a number value now as you can see number this is a number value this is an animator and this is a status <laughs> wait this is a, like a model but status I, I don't understand that um, so this, as you can see, these four are number values. So we're going to check if it's a number value. And if it is, then it's going to run this inside. So if it's a number value, then we're going to do child dot, um, dot value equals two. Yeah. So... Player is not a vela. Okay, let's see. Game that players. Oh, I forgot the S on players right here. Players. Oh, see you guys. <laughs> player added, not players. Okay, I think that's it. Okay, I don't see my character at all. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to make a new game or a new a new uh, studio and I'm going to copy the script and I'm going to paste it inside of the server script service because I don't know why it's not working in here. All right, guys. So I'm going to paste this in server script service. Body scale, game settings. What? Experimental mode? Never heard of that. Um, all right, we're gonna test this and see what happens. As you can see, my character is really big. So let's go in our humanoid value. As you can see, the value is two. Now, let's uh, let's do head scale. Let's make it one. Whoa, look at that. The width one. See, you just mess around. So what I'm going to do is body depth scale. Let's do let's work with body depth scale. So let's do if child dot name is equal to body depth scale, then else if child now let's just let's just add an end right here. So if the child's name is equal to body depth scale, so then it's checking if child is, child is what's being searched through out of the number values. Uh, it's going to check for body depth scale. And if it finds it, then it's just going to change body depth scale to 2. As you can see, it's working. So, yeah. 
Um, then they also have uh, we could do else if child dot name is equal to there was a head scale head scale then child dot value equals five so we should have a very big head okay yep and yep so we have a very big head now if you want to know what else they have as you can see just go in your character humanoid there's head scale which is five body width scale body height scale body depth scale and yeah that's really it um, let me read this when turn on turn off before opening again to the public uh, wait. do wait okay so that's basically it guys I hope you guys enjoyed and hopefully more scripting tutorials will come soon later